G'day, Nick here. What a lucky guy I am. I've got three amazing daughters. And my oldest daughter's name is Chelsea, and I make a wine with her. And this is the Chelsea Guidestone Rice Alexander Valley. And we're sitting here looking at the 2022 blend, and this is the 2021. So I thought, hey, what a great opportunity to try the 2021. So what we look for with Merlot is we look for a soil with a little bit more water holding capacity. So a little bit of clay. So the vineyard that we have out in the middle of the Alexander Valley is sort of a gravelly clay loam. So it's out by the river, so it has good drainage on top, but then it has this little sort of clay profile underneath. And clay holds a little bit more water, and Merlot, being a berry, needs to have more water to keep the berry in good turga. So let's give it a go. 2021, as you know, was a fantastic vintage, and uh, Merlot is no exception. A little pom roll, a little pom roll, not a bad area in Bordeaux. Blueberries, lots of blueberries. Fantastic nose, a little bit of vanilla from the oak, but not too much. Wow, I don't normally drink my wine when I'm talking about it, but this one has long, silky, balanced all the way, sort of a, a tannin sweetness, and I get a little bit of black cherry and a little bit of black berry, so it's a little bit more intense on the palate than you would think when you smell it. So, but that's the 2021 vintage, it's very full and very rich. And the tannins are super silky. Man, I love Merlot. I can certainly drink a lot more Merlot than I can Cab in a situation like this. Anyway, don't forget, Merlot's a good grape bridal too. Pomerol's not actually a bad area from the Bordeaux. And this is the Chelsea Goldschmidt Guidestone Rise Alexander Valley. Awesome.